Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan, and thank you for joining us for our Wednesday weather update, recorded on March the 13th. We've got a high pressure way over towards Australia, and New Zealand's on the outer edges of it, which explains why it's cloudier at the moment. Got a few drizzly patches and showers around, and the southwesterly flow or southerly flow, depending on where you are. High pressure is mostly to the south of Australia. You can see that in the brighter shading. It extends out into the Tasman in a weaker form. And then to the north, all of these low pressure zones, which are going to be hanging around for at least the next week ahead. Uh, none of them at this stage are forecast to come into New Zealand. So don't look at them towards uh, the chance of getting rain. They are more likely to be stuck in the tropics, although a couple of them will drop down to our east. So let's make sense of that big high, parked south of Australia, extending out into the Tasman, a little bit of wet weather here, trying to move into the North Island. This is for this evening. Let's fast forward the next 48 hours and that patchy front there, trying to move into the North Island by Friday evening. So it will be a bit drizzly, showery, and there might be a couple of isolated heavier falls in the mix, and also surrounded by dry spells as well. And then it clears behind it all, there's sort of a secondary front coming through on Friday night, Behind that, cooler southerlies and that big high pressure zone. Now let's have a look at the temperatures. Departure from normal, blue means cooler than average, orange means uh, warmer than average, and yes, the sea is blue, that's not part of it. Um, it's just the bit over land. I noticed the other day I said that and I thought when I was watching it back, um, but the whole screen is blue. So I just mean over the land. Now this is for Thursday evening, tomorrow night, you can see the blue and in moving into parts of the North Island as well. Let's fast forward that in towards Saturday night and look what happens. That blue extends right up towards the top of the country. Not for Bay of Plenty, Coromandel, Eastern Waikato, parts of Auckland and Northland. Um, but pretty much everyone else is either colder than average or about average for this time of the year. It's nothing too dramatic, but we are getting frost this weekend, as I mentioned yesterday. So here is Thursday's setup. That patchy front lies to the north of the country, big storm to the south of the country, and we are pretty much clear of it, although the very lower South Island gets caught up in that westerly wind, and then later on that cold front. That's sort of the secondary one that will uh, be moving up the country. So as we go through to Friday, you can see you've got this first front trying to move into the North Island, a second front moving up the South Island. Both of those are weak. They're not going to provide huge amounts of rain, but they will provide some rain. And then behind this one, this is where the colder air comes through. So snow flurries along the mountains and ranges, and it is all going around this big enormous high south of Australia. So rainfall wise, going through to Friday night, from tonight to Friday night, uh, this is patchy kind of stuff, and it's kind of what I said yesterday. You're in that kind of 10 to 30, maybe 40 millimeter mark, depending on where you are. But these downpours that line up could just move around a little bit. So while it lines up kind of through this area here, that could still move northwards or southwards just a little bit. Generally speaking, central New Zealand gets very little rain. Unfortunately, those are the areas that need it the most. Elsewhere, there are a few rainmakers in the mix but it won't be a huge amount. It's just a little bit of relief coming through. So into Saturday, one of those lows in the north tries to drop down, but as we said a whole week ago, this high pressure zone coming out of Australia like a bulldozer kind of pushes that system away. And it also pushes away the cold fronts. So we end up with a cooler weekend, frosty weather comes through as the clouds start to break up and the winds start to ease. And behind it, more of those windy southwesters and showery southwesters, not necessarily overly stormy, but just a little bit unsettled. So we've got frost coming through. This is coming in uh, for Saturday morning. You can download our app. If frost matter to you, you definitely need to get those frost alerts. $6.99 a month. That is not very much to pay if you run a vineyard. So this is the area that's got the frost risk in it. And as you can see, it's quite a large portion of inland areas, but it doesn't go out to the coastal zones. And the North Island just might be a little bit too windy and uh, cloudy, but there could still be a few light frosts around maybe on Sunday morning through Central Plateau. Here is Sunday morning and high pressure parked in the Tasman, stretches out over the country to some degree. That low to the northeast still well offshore, not affecting our weather at all. Plenty of low pressure. In fact, this one up here towards Broome, likely to be a tropical cyclone, but it might not actually come into Western Australia, may well just stay over there. And for Eastern Australia, plenty of showers coming in from out of the New Zealand area, still going around that enormous high. So next week, there is the high, still New Zealand is on the edges of it. That encourages another southerly or even maybe a bit southeasterly for some places. Here's some good news, might just see a little bit of wet weather on Monday for central New Zealand. Maybe the Marlborough, Wellington, wide it up aside. 
I wouldn't 100% lock that in just yet. The high will be the controlling feature and only has to change shape a little bit and it moves those uh, showers further out to sea. And our final map for Tuesday shows uh, southeasterlies around the North Island, high pressure crossing over the South Island, so it could be some cooler mornings, milder afternoons. Eastern Australia gets our leftovers, so plenty of showers and cloud for the entire eastern seaboard. And then you jump over to the other side, there is that tropical cyclone. It may not make landfall. It might just get very, very close. So it's worth keeping an eye on if you know people who live over there. It'll be windy and hot in Perth, uh, but we've got more details about our Australia uh, forecast tomorrow Thursday, our seven-day outlook. We'll be taking a closer eye at these tropical uh, low-pressure zones to the north. That is all from me for today. We'll be back again tomorrow with our next update on these cold fronts heading in towards New Zealand. We'll see you then.